everyone welcome to sunday welcome to the next weekly vlog it's a lot later than it usually is when i start these but it's sunday liz is home obviously since you probably saw last week's vlog and we spent the morning getting halloween stuff so i thought i would do like a little mini like halloween haul for you um because where else would you go to get an unreasonable amount of things other than target so we got some Oh my gosh, so heavy. We got some candy. Ooh. And by some, I mean a ton of candy um, to fill up little goodie bags for Liz's friends from school. But we also have this that we just got down from the attic to start filling with candy. Liz got this cute little cat thing that she can take back with her and she put like a candle in here and it's super cute we also have oh my gosh so much stuff i got these little cute books for where i work because i feel like the kids will really like this they're like blank books so you can like write your own scary stories in it i got some of these for cupcakes for ari's work i'm gonna make little these are the goodie bags i got for her friends um some cobwebs for outside the house what else is in here more candy more candy oh my god i got so much more candy than i thought cobwebs for liz to take with her let me see what else i have okay so let me explain ari's work is having a halloween party and i decided i'm gonna make cupcakes for them that have um like blood i'm gonna make like these here's my blood here's my cool like cupcake holders i got these are like spooky lights battery operated thought those were really cute i don't really know where i'm gonna put these yet and this is for franny if she'll wear it <laughs> it has little ears for a cat and fake hair and i just thought it was really funny but i doubt she's gonna let me put it on her so it was probably a waste of money. We've been making the house super festive. Liz has been making za. Got a pumpkin. Got the candy everywhere. This is, don't look at that. We made, don't look at this either. We or made this, or this. We no, put wait, this out. Where? No, I know, you can't see, I can't see you. This is Can super cute. I hang up all these lights. And something spooky is happening next to me. <laughs> You're not ready? <laughs> Mom, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> ready? You had them. <laughs> That's definitely part of my thumbnail. Do they hurt? You look like you're in pain. Are you in pain? Oh, Can you speak? No. <laughs> <laughs> Zaza. Courtesy of Liz Liz. Yum. Hello everyone and welcome to today. It's Monday. It's you want to be in the vlog? It's actually soup day. It's soup, soup day. day. <laughs> It's Monday, it's Columbus Day, and I had work early this morning, but I got to leave early, and now it feels so much later than 2.30, but it's almost 2.30. Liz just went back to school. My mom is making a crap ton of French onion soup. It's, first of all, it's smelling, stinking up the entire house. I'm gonna make chili later. So it really is soup day. I'm watching Friends from the beginning and I'm about to edit the vlog. Who could that be? Who could that be? Oh, look who it is! Look who it is! It's soup day! Soup day. How spontaneous! Do you like my decoration? I smell like I love We all do. <laughs> now you can't too. Did the Browns win? 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at how time. look at how high oh this is filled up. The worst oh, yeah. looking field goal so, ever. I'm just so excited. The soup subscription week four. Is this the fourth week of soup? I had, I've had two rounds of mushroom. Oh, is that the, the last um, one? What was it, the one with the beet one called? Oh, borscht. Did you, you like that? I loved it. You didn't like so it? So good for you. You can't I mean, love it. it. Oh my so god, I good loved it. And, the, and what <laughs> else? Loaded with vitamins. There was one other. Um, was it? Did you, didn't, wasn't it this one first? No, it was no. mushroom, borscht. Um, I loved that one. She made a chicken noodle, but it wasn't distributed. Right. My dad made chicken noodles, so that's the one soup I can bring to you. And then chili, which is not really soup. I'm though. making that tonight for dinner. Oh my god. It's soup day. It's Guess soup you day. went shopping Thank at Bath so and Body Works. <laughs> I'm currently making some chili. I'm browning, or making my, whatever they're called, onions like clear. Um, I've got all my tomatoes cut up, my meat's cooked, beans are ready, so, what are they called? Seasonings are ready, spices, and I feel like I'm forgetting ingredients. Maybe I should go look at the, oh, oh, I deleted it. Mom, do you have Ari's, do you have Vinny's chili recipe? All right, well, that's what I'm doing, and I'm listening to the Stars Born soundtrack. We saw that last night. Was that last night? Yeah, it was so good. Get out of my way. Oh, that's the vlog. My vlog. No, the vlog's in the cabinet. What? All right, here's my chili. I've got turkey meat, tomatoes, a can of chili sauce, kidney beans, all of these random spices, an onion in here. And it looks pretty good. I'm gonna let that sit for an hour um, just to get everything like mixed in. Does it look good? Yeah, it looks really good. Right? Yum. What do we need that with? You got cornbread? No. You gonna make some? No. <laughs> I have French baguette bread. We do this. I don't even really like mine with cornbread or anything. I just want it with cheese. Should I put a lid on it or no? Yes. Okay, lid's going on. All right, everybody, it is a while later. I'm trying to think of the last time that I actually picked up the camera and I don't know when that was. Basically, um, we had chili for dinner, which was so good, but while that was cooking, I took a quick bath um, and started watching the Shane Dawson um, episode five with the Jake Paul series, and I did not finish it, but then my mom and I finished it when we were eating um, dinner. Weirdly, I'm not that tired. I've just really been on the couch all day just watching TV, which has been really nice. But I watched like a ton of friends. My main concern was editing and uploading the vlog because my Wi-Fi was terrible today. And in order to upload the weekly vlog, it took uh, like four hours of it uploading. <laughs> I just realized something while I'm editing um, my description box in my video for this weekly vlog is that I really didn't explain what I was opening with the lush Christmas stuff. Basically, I don't know why I thought the people would already know this, but I guess he wouldn't. Um, when you work at lush, sometimes you get like gifted things or there's like perks to working there as there is with probably anywhere. But lush is really generous and we get a super generous discount, but not only that, we get staff boxes. Usually when we come out with really big new ranges, so it usually will happen around Christmas time, sometimes in the spring too, although I don't think we got spring ones last year. Um, basically it's like a box full of products that you get to try before anybody else gets to have them and you get to see new inventions and new scents and new things that are coming out for Christmas um, and everybody gets one. It's amazing. So they've never come in these like really festive boxes before so that's why I was super excited to see that. 
but I'm obsessed with Lush. I think you know that already. Even beyond like working there, it's like everything. I'm just in love with it. So being able to like see products and smell them for the first time before other people do and just to get in like the holiday spirit makes me like beyond happy. So I was like over the moon about that. Um, but I realized that I didn't really explain where that box came from and I didn't have to pay for any of that. It was a gift for the staff. So that was really, really generous. Um, and just really awesome and I didn't obviously get to get through all of those things because that's exactly where my camera battery shut off and died um, but I probably will do a Lush Christmas haul I think it would be fun to do it with Liz I really like doing it with her um, I think I showed about like half of what we got which is a lot so yeah that's really cool some of my favorite things though weren't even didn't make it in there before my camera died so hopefully I'll do a full video which would probably be really long of me going through and talking about everything from Christmas I still have to do one of those for Halloween um, but Christmas is way more exciting so yeah I just wanted to kind of say that real quick um, this isn't gonna be included in last week's vlog because um, I've already scheduled it and whatever but I just thought I'd say that in case you saw last week's vlog and you were like what the hell is she talking about <laughs> okay now I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday. Um, I hope that you can see me. Um, I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna brush my hair and do my face skincare. Um, just give me one second. Well, I need to brush my hair, but what I'm using is the Way Leave-In Conditioner. I, when my hair was longer, I used to spray it on my hair but it gives you so much product. So now I'm just gonna do it on my hand. Um, I wasn't gonna wash my hair, but the other day I've just, when I dried my hair, like air dry, I put way too much hair oil in it to air dry it. And it was just a bad idea, but yeah. Also this morning, I don't know why, it took me forever to get out of bed. And I ended up just like going down a rabbit hole of reading all about John Mayer. And I actually used to be such a big John Mayer fan, like his music and stuff when I was in high school probably. Um, but yeah, and then this morning I've been listening to him and it's just been so good. So maybe I'll just time lapse this for you. Um, I'm gonna do brush my hair do my face skincare, which is just like my usual routine. And then I'm gonna go have some breakfast and then come back up and finish getting ready for the day. That's the plan. Hello everyone. It is a while later. <sighs> I'm so tired. <laughs> it's been the longest day. Um, on my face currently is the brand new Rudolph Jelly Face Mask from Lush only here for Christmas. It smells like chocolate pudding, like those snack pack chocolate pudding cups. It smells so good. It's like Rizul Mud, um, clay, orange oil. I love it. Um, basically, I just showered and got into bed. <laughs> Put this on my face. I popped up a giant bowl of popcorn because I've already had dinner and I just really wanted a snack. Um, I feel like today was super long, but it was actually really good. Um, I felt like super productive. I got to see all of the Christmas stuff because the store I was working at tonight had it all in stock and I smell every soap and every bath bomb. And it's just so good it's a really really good range of stuff and obviously i picked up some things as you can tell based on my face most of it was just bath bombs um in this face mask um i'm not going to show you the rest of the stuff because i want to do a like full christmas video and that's it. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I feel like the fact that Monday was a holiday really threw me off because tomorrow feels like it should be Tuesday. <laughs> and that's that. I feel like this is like not drying as fast as I thought it would because it's a mud base, but 
I like it. everybody it is Wednesday I am leaving now to go get a coffee and then get my nails done uh, I feel like I have a hair on my face last night I told myself I wasn't gonna do this and then ended up doing it anyways I peeled off all my old nails <laughs> I do the gel like dipping powder and they come off in like one sheet and they when they come off they look like stick on nails that you like buy at like the pharmacy so my nails look like this now and they're like aching and they hurt so that was smart <laughs> but i think it'll be fine and i have a long day today i've got what do i have i have this and then I have a little bit of a break in the day. Then I have um, work for like four hours. And then I drive to my other job at Lush. And I have uh, a meeting tonight and I think we're doing like training for the Christmas stuff, which is very exciting. Uh, but that's until 11. <laughs> so it's a very long day. I'm probably gonna have multiple coffees. Tell me something, boy. All right, I've got my new nails and I'm so happy about it. I literally don't understand why it's 85 degrees today. Like, why? Here are my beautiful nails. They look very red. They're more purple in real life. Um, yeah, so if you hear anything right now, it's the air conditioning blasting because it's a million and one degrees out home and change and oh I have to eat something and then go to work but that was awesome I love getting my nails done feels feels good good morning everybody everyone buddy <laughs> it is Thursday wow it just hit me that it's Thursday that's crazy I feel like I barely filmed anything yesterday. Um, I don't even remember what I filmed. Maybe it was the morning. I had a really super long day yesterday. Thank you. Um, I had work all day and then I had a work meeting at night that went until 11 and I was so tired last night. Um, it was really good though, and then this morning I woke up trying to feel as rested as I could. Uh, I used the new, um, I did like a weird face of makeup today, but I didn't want to use like a full like CC cream, so I used um, my new Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, concealer which I really like and I used it like all under my eyes because um, I'm sure that they are like dark black in real life and then I just um, used a beauty blender to kind of go through that and then set it with like a tiny bit of the MAC um, what is it called skin skin realize skin finish something like that 
Um, and then I use, I've been using a uh, tinted moisturizer because it still has like a little bit of warmth in it that I would usually use over the summer. Um, but I used that all over and then put a little bit more of the powder on top of my face. And that's, that's about it for my face. But yeah, I, I swear it rains like every Thursday. <sighs> like, I'm not even like kidding. I feel like if you went back into like the calendar of weather, it's rained at least the last four Thursdays. But as you can imagine, I'm on my way to go to Starbucks. I'm actually really hungry. I need to go to the grocery store for a couple of things. Oh, good. I, I thought I forgot something. Um, I have to go to the grocery store for a couple of things and then I'm going to work really early. It's like 10.30 right now. Um, I have some stuff to get done before I start my day. And yeah, that's about it. I'm just trying to stay awake. But um, Dax Shepard's podcast, Armchair Expert, um, came out with the live episode today from their like live shows that they've been doing in different cities. Oh my god, I want them to come to Boston so bad. But this is the first one I think that they did in LA with Jason Ritter, who was on Parenthood with Dax. And it's really good. I was listening to it this morning while I was getting ready and yeah. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get my coffee, I'm gonna do my errand, and then I'm gonna go to work. I will probably check in with you at some point during my day. Um, Hope everybody has a great day. All right, I just got to school, so I'm not really gonna film for that long. But I swear, every time I'm going to and from schools to do programs for work, it's pouring, and I have stuff to carry. And I always get soaked, and I'm in like nice clothes. This is just wonderful weather. <laughs> I'm feeling very frustrated with the weather with my aux cord in my car and I'm gonna be soaking wet when I get out of my car it's pouring so bad worse than the last time I said it was pouring and I'm just so happy about it no one would think about it anymore so, I'm pretty sure that 99.9% .9 of this vlog today has been me in the car. <laughs> and I'm sorry for that. But that's what 99.9% .9 of my day has been. Fortunately, my mood did get better once I got back to work, but, and it's not chucking it down with like buckets of rain anymore, but, it was before, I'm still pretty soaked from it, but that's fine, I have Chinese food waiting for me at home, so I'm so excited. I'm starving, and I wish I had a snack, but I don't think I do, I think I just have Starburst, but actually I'll eat those. Um, yeah, I'm really glad that tomorrow's Friday. Oh my God, two reds? I feel like I just won the lottery, yes. Wow, maybe that means that I'm gonna have a better rest of my day. <laughs> My hair is not behaving and I am so happy to be in bed. Um, basically, I went to finish work, came home. Oh my god, I was stuck in so much traffic on the way home. Um, then I ate so much Chinese food for dinner. I'm literally stuffed. I don't even think I'll have dessert, which if you know me is very unusual. I took a bath. Oh, I showed you what I used. I used the Plum Pudding Bath Melt, which I'm not sure if I like the smell of, and my skin f feels moisturized, but not... I have to check the ingredients again, because it doesn't feel like it usually does after I use the Surgeon's Cauldron Bath Melt, 
but maybe it's because I added some cold water at the end. Uh, I don't know. I also use the Pearl de Cell bath bomb and I love that. I didn't show you what the water ended up looking like, but it's basically like a white bath bomb. I think it has sea salt sprinkled on the top. It smells like the snow angel snow cake scent that's been at Christmas before, but it's not a bath melt. It's just a regular bath bomb. You pop it in the water and it like completely turns the color of the water blue which you're not really expecting because it's white on the outside but the inside's blue and it's like the most beautiful the only thing i can compare it to is like the frozen bath bomb that we used to have where it's like straight up just like teal turquoise like almost the color of my wall but like a little bit brighter it was so pretty and it had sparkles in it which i wasn't really expecting but i guess i'm not surprised about but they're really pretty sparkles. They're like really, really, really tiny, tiny, like shimmery. I wonder if you can see on my skin. Probably not. Now I'm watching, oh, I'm watching the latest Jake Paul. I thought I said that wrong. Jake Paul and Shane Dawson series. I thought I said Jake Dawson or something. I think the last one comes out tomorrow maybe monday this is the second to last episode and i'm like just started it so i'm not i'm not almost done with it yet but i think i'm gonna fold my laundry watch this some more and then just go to bed so i know i already said goodbye for the night but i've just first of all it feels like it's the middle of the night it's only 11 30 and i've just spent the last probably hour watching vlogmas from last year and Vlogmas just holds such a special place in my heart. I love those vlogs so much. They make me so happy. I do remember that time being like really stressful for me to be able to find time to film while being in school and working. But now that I'm looking back on it, I definitely had so much more time then than I do now. But it's sort of inspiring me to hop on my computer and start editing this weekly vlog. Um, I really hope that I have time to do Vlogmas this year. If, if worse comes to worse and I don't have a lot of time, I can probably manage to do a weekly Vlogmas. Um, but I want to do every day so bad. I want to finish it up. I did not really accomplish it last year, but I did the best I could. Um, also my hair, I mean like, I know my hair is kind of short now, but my hair was so long during Christmas. I did not even realize how long it was until I was just re-watching them. It was crazy long and it makes me sad because looking at it I was like oh it looks so straight and so good and I'm honestly having a hard time figuring out how to style this hair. Um, if Ari's watching this she'll say I told you so but I am just going to you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put Zoe's vlogmas on my TV while I edit this weekly vlog good morning everybody and welcome to Friday it's Friday I'm so happy though I'm very cold I feel like oh that's why it's not on <laughs> um, I'm in my comfies for a Friday work day and it's a long one but it's gonna be okay cuz I'm gonna go get a bagel this morning I am finishing I'm still finishing it the armchair expert episode with David Hopper no David is that not his name <laughs> his name is David Harbor and he plays Hopper in Stranger Things. I don't know. I never finished that show. Um, I swear I started this podcast like a month ago or something and I just found it so hard to get through and I don't know why. I usually finish them like as I'm listening to them even if it's somebody that I don't know very well. One of my favorite episodes was with um, Dax and Kristen's friend um Bob Mervac, who wrote the theme song for Armchair X. 
expert, but I don't know, something about this episode, it just took me forever to get through because I wanted to finish it. Sometimes there, there were a couple that I was like, I absolutely cannot do this. Like, this is too much. I feel like they're all so different. The episode with David Sedaris, that guy's crazy. I did not get through the rest of that. He was like weirding me out big time. I think this one, I just feel like David Harbour is kind of like dark, like, I don't know, it just has like a dark vibe around this episode that I found it hard to get through it this morning. I'm surprised it didn't put me in a weird mood because it's like gray skies, gray, freezing, like weird weather, but I'm on the fact check now, so I feel like it's going to be fine. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. All right, I'm in my car, obviously. <laughs> And it's so cold out. I cannot get over how cold it is. Everybody has jackets on. Obviously, I don't. I have a jacket in the back. Maybe I'll wear that to work. I have my bagel. I have my ginormous iced coffee, which just makes me so happy. And I'm gonna eat my breakfast in my car and then I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna go to work I need to finish this episode I need to get through and watch listen to something else <laughs> hello everybody probably looks like I have not moved from this spot but I've been at work and it felt like a really long day even though it wasn't like I don't feel like exhausted right now but it just like felt very long, which is fine. Um, I am on my way to work at Lush for the night, which should be fun, <laughs> I guess. Um, and yeah, that's the cinch. I'm so happy that it's Friday. I'm not working this weekend, which is like, really unusual I usually work every weekend at least one day but I don't have work at all this weekend except tomorrow morning I do have something for work but it's like a little like festival thing that I'm just like representing the organization that I'm working for so that should be kind of fun and then um, the rest of the day is for fun so I'm really excited I'm gonna drive listen to something as usual and then go to work good morning everyone happy Saturday. Oh god. Um, it's pouring rain. I've never really wear a hat, but like it's pouring out. Um, I am up bright and early, and by that I mean it's already 10 o'clock. <laughs> I did get up at 9 though, and I really did not fall asleep until probably like 2 something because I was down a rabbit hole of watching YouTube videos, which is the best way to do. A Friday night. Why are there so many cars here? Move it along, Busta. What are you doing? I'm feeling really weird about this hat situation. I'm also wearing my dad's raincoat because I couldn't find mine. And oh my god, I need this air conditioner, this heat to turn on. <laughs> everybody's day is going well um a week i guess i'm so happy it's the weekend this is the only work thing i have to do this weekend how do you wear a hat <laughs> just wondering i literally never ever ever wear them so it's fine i need a bagel i need a coffee i need um to be warm <laughs> I have all these layers on and I thought I was being really dramatic about it until I stepped outside and realized it probably wasn't even enough layers should have worn two pairs of socks so the plan for today I, I think loosely I know what it is is that I have to do this thing until three I'm hoping get out a little bit earlier than that um, especially because of the rain I feel like maybe there won't be a lot of people there I'm basically doing um, like an event like I'm gonna be at an event um, in the town that I work in and it's just to like represent the organization that I work for. Go ahead. Um, 
but that's that. And then afterwards, uh, we're celebrating Leah's birthday. Um, I think at a winery. Uh, I really hope the weather turns up for that because that would be super bummer if it was raining. But I think I might be behind Ari's mom. Uh, I can't tell. Oh, I don't think she has any bumper stickers. Um, but winery and then I think we're doing something spooky. I think we're either going to Witch's Woods or Spooky World. I don't know the difference and I don't really know if that's what we're doing. I hope that if we go it's not muddy because that would be really annoying. I do have my rain boots with me just in case I need them. Oh <laughs> my goodness. So it's 2.30 now and it was pouring rain when I was there and it was so freezing. It's 52 out right now, but the sun just came out and I think it was like probably like 45, 47 or something. And we were outside and you can't feel my hands. I know like it sounds so dramatic, but I was outside for like almost four hours just like freezing to death. Um, frozen to the bone, I can barely feel my feet. Two pairs of socks on, <laughs> three layers of clothes. And I got to decorate some mini pumpkins, which was lovely. Oh my God, my battery's flashing. I'll have to charge it when I get home because we're going out later. Ah, okay. Well, basically I just escaped there and like ran to my car to leave because the event was almost over and I was just so freezing. I could not wait more second there to wait to leave um, but I only left 20 minutes early so I guess it's not that bad I'm gonna go home now take the absolute hottest shower or bath I can't decide which one I want that I could possibly imagine to warm up my skin then I'm gonna just get ready and then we're gonna go um, and have some fun Your tutorial <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna tell you guys a story. <laughs> no. Please, save, save the fans. Save, yeah, her viewers are Don't ever fly, Spirit Air. What are we thinking? Save. I'm gonna try this one. You're gonna love it. Which one is this? Baby Six. Oh, that's cute. I like that. This one's so good. I'm getting that next. Cheers, babes. <laughs> they cheers and then just like we literally went. All right, <laughs> me and Aaron, have to, we have to go over there. So um, let's get all the good pictures on the ten before you. We need so <laughs> many good no, ones. Literally, huh? Do you we have need to get someone to take our picture. Oh, you, have, you, have, okay. you want a portrait? This is yours. Do you want a portrait? Yeah, I have a self camera. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. portrait one's the best. Oh my god, this is yeah, wild. Well, hold on, hold on. Okay. If there's any, if there's any way we can talk about this. You just those are portraits. <laughs> Hi, John. Hi, John. Hi. Oh my God. Where is it? It's a go to. On your chinny chin chin. <laughs> okay, everyone. It's later. And we went to the winery, we went to the like haunted witch's woods, and it was fine, it was fun. I just was so cold and really super tired, and I wish I had footage from 
what I went to earlier today at work. I'll insert a clip now if I do have something. But yeah, it was a good day. It was a really good day. It was just a day of being outside when it was really, really cold. And you know, when you get so cold, you're like chilled to the bone. That's how I feel. So I'm in bed now with layers of blankets on me. My heating pad is on. I'm very happy to be in bed. It's like 11, 11 ish. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to stress myself out by editing this now. I'm going to edit it tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing something really fun with a new special guest and I'm really excited. So I will see you next week's vlog. Have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, if you do like it, you can hit the like button if you want to and subscribe down below as well, which would be really cool. And thank you. I'll see ya when I see ya.